Um, Peter Rawlinson, uh, the uh, Motor Trend did, did an interview with him. Now, Peter Rawlinson was the designer behind uh, Project White Star. I believe it's called White Star 8. Yes. Uh, and uh, as Tesla fans know, that became the Model S. So, so I thought Franz Van Holhausen was the Model S designer. Franz, he Formal. took it over. He uh, took it over. Okay. so Chief was, engineer. Okay. Yeah, because Rawlinson was the engineer. Was, was, uh, okay. That makes sense. All engineer. Right. Yeah. Was he the designer? Was Franz the designer or was he an engineer? Uh, Franz role? took over from Fisker as design. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, Still yes. inside baseball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to derail you. Go ahead. Oh, no worries. No worries. Yeah. So, so I mean, and he has, he has you know, quite, quite the... Uh, the uh, resume, right? Because uh, as the article states, he was, sorry, <laughs> uh, principal engineer at Jaguar. He was a chief engineer at Advanced Engineering at Lotus. Um, so, you know, he has, he has some decent background in engineering. And uh, so now he is running, uh, not running things, but he's the chief engineer for, I guess, for um, Lucid Air. So he was, he, uh, or for Lucid, and he's designing uh, the Air sedan. Um, so, you know, when we we're interviewing him with that, um, you know, he was. Uh, naturally, kind of you know, a beat optimistic about the vehicle, saying that it was it was better than his previous project, which is the Model S. And this is where this article was is kind of touching up on, um, where he's thinking, you know, this this the the background of designing the Model S allows him to produce a much better product with with Lucid. Um, you know, the things that maybe he wanted to do that couldn't do because of time constraints or whatever it may be, or maybe because, you know, the, the industry was nascent at that time, right? Uh, you know, when the Model S was uh, uh, under development, right? So you're talking about late late 2000s, early 2010s. Um, so now, you know, it's a different market and he's able to maybe push things a bit more. So um, I thought it was kind of interesting. And of course, his big line that, uh, you know, the big headline news is, Chief, uh, former uh, chief engineer of the Model S thinks that the Lucid Air is better than the Model S, <laughs> right? You got to have that uh, ca catchy uh, headline. Um, there are a few things that maybe I don't quite agree with him. Uh, one of them being he's saying, oh, you anybody know, who used to work somewhere else is going to say, yeah, I built a shittier car than where I used to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and to be fair, he was at Tesla, what, in 2012? So eight years ago. And uh, I hope by now they can make a car better than the 2012. Yeah. Some of the big guys can't. For the most, which is arguable. Yeah. <laughs> which is arguable. I mean, not necessarily, right? You, you can still make mistakes. You can make the same mistakes. Yeah. Um, which, which is what I'm, get, I'm getting to point to point right now, where he one of one of the things he noticed that oh, you know, now there's the Lucid uh, Air sedan versus a hatchback on the Model S. Um, that was one thing that he was pushing for, um, which is kind of funny because I think a lot of Model S owners enjoy that actual practicality of of the hatchback being able to fold down seats flat and get that large cargo area as, as opposed to being uh, hampered by the uh, the trunk lid and the parcel shelf so i thought that was kind of interesting but i do i do like the his other talk about the batteries how they invested into uh, formula e um i thought that's great uh, interesting uh, information and you know racing has always has ha have had a part in production vehicles right whatever you develop in racing you're able to to take that refine it and then eventually some of that kind of can be practical um in just your everyday car uh russell is saying yeah maybe some sort of yeah, hey, and, and, and until the race car drivers are driving chevy econo vans with screaming kids in the background asking are we there yet i'm not getting any of the racing into um every day <laughs> good point i see you missed the fast and furious 7 where paul walker was in a mini van no just kidding uh <laughs> <laughs> nice snapback uh, um well, I was thinking more of the technology, right? So, you know, with race cars, what do you, you know, you're under intense right, pressures, right? right? You're, you're discharging at a high uh, rate, you're recharging at a high rate, and all of that technology can be useful in every day because that's what, what the people want. They want the fast recharge, right? Um, uh, you know, they want to stop for 30 minutes, boom, there's your full, or even 15 minutes or 10 minutes, whatever it may be. So, you know, racing, I, I still think racing still has some, some, uh, part in production vehicles and you know sure, they have it's a much great bigger way to stress the technology for sure and learn a lot from it sure yeah yeah and they have much bigger budgets <laughs> where every second counts so uh yeah i thought uh, i thought that, that was an interesting uh interview uh, just kind of touch on the different things and, and his background and how maybe i guess helping lucid give some credibility you know as a startup uh give some credibility to their vehicles you know i guess with the headlines of 
you know, we'll, 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 we'll be able to uh, reach real world uh, range of 400 miles at highway speeds. That was one of their, uh, their goals. And I think they have uh, achieved that. Uh, or did, I think they did surpass it, but they haven't actually given it an official number. But that was, that was their goal, 400 uh, miles of uh, highway speed range. Um, and of course, now with the, the sedan. So I think it's just a, it's a nice way, I guess, for Lucid to kind of prop up their, their image um, ahead of launch. Yeah, a lot like we talked about the uh, workhorse, no, the endurance. No, Lordstown Motors truck earlier. Um, good luck. I hope that they are successful. hope this is a great car that a lot of people uh, fall in love with. Mm-hmm.